What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmerTech.com and in this tutorial I'll be talking about if and else statements. Now when do we use if and else statements? We use them when we want the program to make a decision for us. The way that I make the decision is by comparing two variables or two values. Now let's get started. I'm going to start by uh, creating a variable up here. I'm going to call my variable red. I'm going to give the, my variable a value of 5. I'm going to end this with a semicolon. Now I'm going to make another variable. I'm going to call this one blue. And I'm going to give this a value of 5 as well. We can end this one with a semicolon. Now we have two variables. First variable is red. It has a value of 5. And the second variable is blue and has a value of 5. Let me just space this out here. Okay. So now we're going to start the if statement here. We're going to type in if. Hit space. Use the open parentheses. Now in between this, inside this open parentheses here, we're going to compare these two variables. So I'm going to start with the first variable, which is red. Just type in the variable name. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to use two equal signs. Now, don't get this confused with uh, one equal sign. One equal sign will give this variable value. We use it with like a lot of the math stuff. Uh, two equal signs uh, compares two variables, making sure they're equal to each other. Now there are other things we can do, other operators we can use. I'm going to show you guys a chart up here. Move it to the side. Now, as you can see, the first one is equal to. Now, if we use, if you use this one, we w this is not equal to. This is a greater than symbol here. This is the less than symbol here. This is the greater than. This is the greater than or equal to. This is the less than or equal to. So, if you guys want to uh, play around with that, you can like try them on your own. I'm just going to be using the equal operator for now. So let's type in the second uh, variable, which is blue. We're going to end this with a closing parenthesis. Now, make sure you guys don't use the semicolon here. Never use a semicolon at the end of if statement. Remember that. I'm going to hit enter here a couple of times. I'm going to start with a curly brace now. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times, and I'm going to end it with a closing curly brace. So we have an open curly brace, and we have a closing curly brace. Now we're going to put what we want the program to do if these two things are equal between these two curly braces here. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to type in echo, because I wanted to print something on the browser. I'm going to hit space, and I'm going to type in true. Use the ending quote here. Make sure we end it with a semicolon. So what this is going to do, if uh, these two variables here are equal to each other, it's going to print. It's going to use the echo here and print out true. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit save. Let's refresh the browser up here, and it worked. It's true. Now let me change the value. I'm going to make this uh, variable red have a value of 4. So let's make this 4. So I'm going to hit save again. Let's refresh it. As you can see, it did nothing because these two variables are not equal to each other. Now, let's talk about the else statement. We just in case we uh, we use the else statement when like two variables are not equal to each other, so it'll it'll jump to something else. So I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go to the end of this here. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna type in else. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna type in enter again a couple of times. Again, I'm going to use the open curly brace. I'm going to enter a couple of times, and I'm going to use the closing curly brace. The code that we want to use has to be done between the open and curly braces. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to make this one. Uh, I'm going to use echo again. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to type in false this time. Make sure we use the semicolon. So if these two variables here are equal to each other, it's going to jump to this echo here, echo true. If for some reason they're not equal to each other, it's going to go straight to else, then it's going to jump to this echo here, which is false. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit this save button here. I'm going to hit refresh, and it's false. Because these two variables are not equal to each other, it skipped this here, and it went straight to the else, and straight to echo here. So let's make them equal to each other again. Make them make this a five. So now they're equal to each other. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna refresh the browser, and it's true again. So that's pretty much it. Uh, 
I'm going to leave this chart in the description I'll, or I'll leave a, a link to the chart if you guys want to mess around with it, trying different things out. And this is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissim from RossMartech.com and thanks for watching.